In this podcast episode, we're going to show you how to solve a chemical equation in a sample problem. If you have not looked at or watched the video on the introduction to balancing chemical equations, you should do so before watching this video. On screen is a sample chemical equation. We can name each of the chemical formulas in that equation because we've done so in class. So let's take a look. Our first chemical formula as potassium oxide and that is being added to water H2O and that yields potassium hydroxide now as we did in class it's very important to set up your problem by creating T where we can divide our problem into reactants and products. And of course, list all the elements in that equation for both reactants and products and the number of atoms that are represented. There are two potassium. We know that by the subscript. There are two oxygens, one in potassium oxide and one in water. And there are two hydrogens, both found in water. Now, on the product side, we have one potassium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen, all in potassium hydroxide. The next step in so solving this equation is to make sure that we are following the law of conservation of mass. The mass of the reactants must equal the mass of the products. Right now, there's double the amount of all the items on the reactant side. To solve this equation, all I need to do is write in the coefficient of 2 for potassium, hydroxide that makes us have two potassium two times one for oxygen and two hydrogen and that is now a balanced equation and that concludes this podcast episode